Whip-like motion in the luminous pattern produced by the ferrofluid film, we are Adriana and Alberto Tufile. We have already made an analogy of jumping sundogs using ferrofluid films in the article, jumping sundogs, cat's eye and ferrofluids, condensed matter, 2020. Now we are analyzing the details of the whip-like motion that occurs in the sky, reproducing this type of movement in the luminous pattern produced by the ferrofluid film. With laser illumination and by moving a magnet close to the ferrofluid film, we can move the diffraction pattern of the light. In a ferrofluid film, as in an illuminated ferrocell, the luminous pattern can undergo a whip-like movement when we change the orientation of the applied dipolar magnetic field. To display the experimental setup, at the end there is a reproduction of our video horocycles of light. Here we can see in slow motion the whip-like movement. Pay attention as the horocycle breaks and one end makes a whip-like movement. This image sequence depicts this process for the case of the initial horocycle pattern, in which a horocycle forms due to a stronger magnetic pole positioned near the ferrofluid plate. At number two, we have the disruption of the horocycle because as the field changes slightly, this change disrupts the initial horocycle pattern. At number three and four, we have a transition to open curve because with both poles affecting the ferrofluid equally, the pattern transforms into an open curve shape. The diagram illustrates the sequence of light patterns observed during the process. The key to the whip-like motion lies in the green curve marked too. This unstable pattern represents a sudden transition, similar to shifting from a single potential well, area of attraction, to a double well potential, where the ferrofluid experiences two competing forces. This abrupt change is what causes the whiplash movement. Horocycles of Light Alberto Tufaili and Adriana Tufaili Diagram Animation by Doug Hatley Horocycle or limit circle is a curve whose perpendicular geodesics all converge asymptotically in the same direction. Horocycle is the blue line. Horocycle of light in a ferrocell. We can observe the formation of a horocycle and how it changes as the angle of observation changes. These are images for nine different view angles. We are grateful to Doug Hartley for this animated diagram. With several light sources, we can observe several horocycles. They are conical sections. Here the ferrocell and the magnet. A re-pattern and parallelizarch circle. Using a laser beam and observing the light projected onto a screen. Increasing laser impact parameter, a diffraction line turns into a parallelizarch circle and then into a re pattern. With the IRI pattern, we can estimate the mean particle diameter in ferrocell. Details of the diffraction of light by the needles formed in ferrocell by the magnetic field applied by the magnet. Conical sections and ferrocell. Magnetic field and bipolar coordinate. Thank you for your attention.